I was like, yo, this is like I I felt the you know that's the thing is that New York is like I think that's something that people don't realize is that New York is really a feeling, and it's always a feeling, you know. So like you feel when the boys are coming around the corner, you feel when a uh, situation is about to go left, you feel when um, performers are giving you their all. You feel it when fucking when we get uh uh Jeremy Lin and he's like bawling his heart out at the garden and New York is like we fucking love this guy like yeah. this is what we want not mellow right like and not to knock mellow right like not not to because you know that's just got my shit knocking you know another black man but like the truth is that like he um I think that the the immediate stardom coming into the league assisted in him being able to be like, I'm the star of the team, you know? And what it is in New York is that they kind of, we need to see you bleed, you know? Like, uh, uh, and it's true, like, on the job, the uh, a homie was telling me about how, like, he was like, yo, these, like, they all respect you. Like, there's, like, 30 people on my site, and then he's like, yo, they all respect you. I'm like, that's because I bleed with them. You know what I mean? I'm not... Like, I learned a long time ago in leadership that, like, there's a difference between the king in his castle sending his soldiers off to bleed for him and the guy that will that will lead them into the battle and will bleed with them, will die with them. That's the motherfucker you will fucking die for. You know what I mean? And Gotta that's be- what that's what people want in New York City, you know? And that genuineness that you have is what I think gives you so much life here and makes you happy here and makes you like, be able to function here while other people come here, go, come here, go, and don't feel that, like, attachment here. And it's because there is no attachment here because New York don't love you because you're not genuine. So you're not going to feel no love from the people here. But when you're genuine and you feel that love from the people here, you're just like, fuck, bro, this is kind of better than a million fans, you know, like a million yeah. fans is cool, but like when you that have one, a hundred, that one, that no, one that'll one. die for you, that one person, you know, it only takes that one person. I was out in front of my shop, and I had put these planter boxes, and it's got flowers in it, and it, I put three of them, real big ones. I planted a tree, and I put a bench outside. And this lady comes up with her dog. She has to be in her late, like, I don't know, 50s or 60s. And she hits, she's like, yo, I've been here my whole life. Ain't nobody made this neighborhood better but you. You solely are the only person that put this shit out here to make this neighborhood better. I just want you to know we watch, we, we got you. I'm like, fuck, that is the total validation. I didn't need to be validated by nobody else but her. I'm good. Like, I am good in my neighborhood i'm gucci i don't have to yeah. worry about like that that genuine shit yeah, is yeah. gonna knock out of the park so be yourself be genuine <laughs> yeah yo but also like give back that's like a huge thing because because you know, you just to like go in a little bit of a different way let's say being yourself and genuine doesn't include giving back then you're gentrifying and uh I, 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 I've seen it in, in Mon- Montreal has gentrification too. It's not nice. So it's the same kind of bullshit happens. Um, so it's like, yeah, some people really just their genuine selves don't, that they doesn't fathom the idea of giving back. But in all the stories I've ever heard of anybody that ever got to a place where they Gucci with any neighborhood, it had to do with giving back in some way. And that's what you did. You put a bench out. Yo, motherfuckers like benches. <laughs> Simple thing. I put a bench with some wood and paint, and they's like, "Yo, we valid. This is totally validated." And who like, doesn't like stop. seeing plants in the neighborhood? Apparently, not every neighborhood has trees like mine. I didn't know that was a thing. So, understanding that, no, for real, I'm like, we got blessed. We got trees for fucking days up in Montreal. But like, apparently, that's not a thing. You anymore. guys even got fake trees. Yeah. And I don't mean fake trees in the that's like they have like I remember going to Montreal uh uh in 2019 
and like being blown away by the fact that they have art sculptures everywhere all over the city oh, the way do. we have bodegas is the way that they have art galleries it's like every other corner every corner uh uh in the middle of the block and like everywhere they really and there's it. like <laughs> all these like art installations all over the city and i remember seeing this one in the middle of like a uh, freeway or a uh, Maybe not freeway, but like a uh, parkway, I guess it would be. Um, and like they had this little like, you know, you you climb upstairs, but the stairs are like essentially the, the tree. And then when you get up to like the platform, you can walk out to these like places to like look or take pictures. And that's where the branches are. And I was just like, oh, this is fucking Dope. Dude, Montreal so is, no hold on. Montreal watching this when y'all are like thinking about these goofy shits we do and you're like who the fuck cares about the tree Flacco and other people that don't live here care about the shit that Facts. actually generates tourism dollars for our city so like Facts. we spent That's like what made me be eager to come back we Absolutely. spent like 10 million dollars on a light bridge and everyone was like blah 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 that shit made more than 10 million dollars for Montreal but nobody knew that because they weren't thinking about it, but apparently people will come to your city to look at a funny light bridge. And I'm like, it's like the Chicago bean and crap. Like, I'm like, yo, I want to go see yeah. that fucking shiny ass thing. New York's full of that kind of stuff. Like, bro, like I want to go see some of the cliche New York shit. I don't know that I want to spend money to do the tours. I just want to look at it. <laughs> I have to say this. I have not been to Canada yet. And I am looking oh, so for in uh, uh, Canada. You enjoy yeah, I, that's one place I definitely look forward to, like, you know, exploring and, and tapping in music, the music scene. And I feel like I can, um, I feel like I can offer a lot. Uh, I can offer a lot. I and think collabing you, you do well artists. here. Like, I would love to. Like, no, I collab- think he would. I think, no, I think that you would, like, do fucking incredibly well in Canada. Like, just, like, artistically in all aspects of the art, right? Of your yeah. arts. Yeah. Like, yeah there's- I think that the tattoo scene, you'd be able to do really well. And the music scene, you'd be able to fucking, like, I think that's, you make the type of music that, like, Canada would be like, it's art, eh? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I don't know, like, I mean, I say that with, like, a relative perspective. I'm a 33-year-old dude that isn't necessarily connected to youth culture like I wish I was, but... You sound a lot more like you're in touch with it than a lot of other people that I know. But also, like, Montreal is really, like, cosmopolitan in its music taste. As in, everybody likes a lot of weird and different things. And if you go across the spectrum of your music, it creates an experience that crosses multiple genres. And I think that's really attractive here. In a way that a lot of people, because some of our bigger festivals is, like, random weird mishmashes of shit or like <laughs> somehow like all the edm fucking festivals have a rapper or two and it's like there's this these things that you see happening here and i'm like nah i think you would do like pretty solid in like the festival tours of montreal like just yeah. toss it into that shit <clears throat> and you could do like the techno shit and then hit jazz fest in the same week <laughs> that's what i'm saying facts 